gender inequality doesn't make sense on any level. Yet, gender discrimination around the world occurs everywhere and affects people of all ages, starting in childhood or even before birth. By undermining the rights of women, we deny ourselves the opportunity to lift millions of men, women, and children out of poverty. Needless to say, the chance of a just and equitable world. From birth, girls and boys, women and men are expected by society to fulfill particular roles and behave in particular ways based on customs, religion, and other beliefs. These actions are learned and molded by the gender norms in society. Unfortunately, gender norms put women at a disadvantage in many nations. At home, men typically control household decisions including how to use the family's resources. Actions like these most likely result in women being deprived of such access that can actualize their capabilities. Women's opportunities may also be hampered by cultural norms. For instance, boys around the world are frequently urged to attend school and obtain an education to prepare for the workforce, whereas girls have significant home obligations that prevent them from attending school, increasing the likelihood of child marriage and pregnancy. When they become women, they then have limited ability to earn money or realize their full potential. The United Nations Educational, Scientific, and Cultural Organization, or UNESCO, report on gender equality highlights the need to advance the discussion, research, and awareness raising about equal rights, responsibilities, and opportunities for women and men, girls and boys in every field. The report lists symptoms that are also present in other spheres of socioeconomic life, including limited representation of women in decision-making roles, discrimination in some contexts, limited opportunities for networking, capacity building, and continuing education, women's unequal share of unpaid care work, unfavorable employment conditions such as part-time, contract, or informal work, and gender stereotypes and fixed notions about the culturally acceptable roles for men and women. Despite global progress, gender inequality persists. The social norms that restrict women's prospects needs to be understood and altered. Giving girls early empowerment is proven to have long-term and cumulative advantages throughout their lives. Girls who are encouraged to participate in civic and political affairs, in particular, are given the knowledge and abilities necessary to be agents of change in their families and communities. Girls are strong catalysts for a future where gender equality flourishes, as they are the experts of their own experiences, goals, and needs. Changes are necessary on many levels, and everyone must be involved for them to happen, as abuse, neglect, and violence against women reflect and underpin gender inequalities. Promoting gender equality is crucial in ensuring child safety and achieving children's rights. By adopting a gender-transformative approach, we can influence and permanently bridge the gaps in access to resources and services between men and women and successfully encourage gender equality for our people in a just and equitable world.